All right, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So after what has felt like literally forever, today marks the beginning of a new campaign on the global side of the game, bringing along with it one of my most highly anticipated Dokkan Fest units in a very, very long time, the STR Transforming Cooler. So without further ado, let's dive into the news and uh, see what's going on. Here we go. Imminent Crisis, Ultimate Showdown Campaign. The STR Cooler is right there looking freaking dope. And uh, it says the terrifying conquerors are approaching Imminent Crisis, Ultimate Showdown Campaign is on. And various events are here. New SSR Cooler will show up in the Dokkan Festival. Once Dokkan Awakened, Cooler can transform into his final form by activating the active skill. In addition, the two luxurious login bonuses, a new story event, a new Extreme Z battle. Excited for that. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but uh, I'm gonna wait before I comment just in case I'm wrong. And a new challenge event will be available during the event period. Interesting. Challenge event. Not exactly sure what that means. We'll find out in a second, I'm sure. And also, the 32nd World Tournament will also be available. It's been a minute, man, since we had a tournament on Global, so definitely looking forward to that, which is not something I would have expected myself to say, considering how much I hate World Tournaments now, but it's just been so long that I'm actually excited for a new World Tournament. Okay, so first things first, we have the login bonus. Pretty standard stuff. I'm sure it's going to be like one stone a day every single day. And then we have some special missions. Let's see these Dragonstone sales. They are trash. That is not good. That is not good. I have a lot of collabs planned for this. I'm also doing my own solo video. So in total, I'm going to need something like 800, 900 stones at the minimum. And all we're getting is 32 stones for 50% off once. So that's 32 stones. And then 91 stone pack times three. So in total, what, 300 stones? That's not going to cut it, man. Your boy's going to have to pick up a lot of full price packs, and uh, that's going to suck. That's really going to suck. Like, Bandai should know how hype this uh, this banner is. They should have given us some more deals, man. Come on. Come on. Anyways, moving on, we have the Dokkan Fest banner itself, and it doesn't really reveal anything about the banner because all we see is the Cooler and the Thouser, which we knew were coming. They're the new units with the banner. And we also have the Terrifying Conquerors Category Summon. We have the Dokkan Festival Pack. Interesting. Okay, so I think it's going to be like the... Was it Namek Goku banner? Where we can get tickets from the Baba Shop. I think it's like packs of five or something like that. So if that's the case, I'm probably going to pick these up as well. Just for an extra chance at uh, pulling the cooler. And possibly saving myself some stones. So what I'm going to do actually in my own solo video is probably buy all the packs for the tickets, use the tickets, and see where that gets me. And if I pull the cooler within the tickets, then I might just save those stones for the collabs. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, I need a lot of stones. Okay, so next up we have the ultimate transformation uh, token event for the cooler. We also have a revamp for the, um, what do you call it? The, the Strongest Rivals Cooler Movie Story Event. So uh, that's also a thing. About 17, I believe, free-to-play Dragonstones for everybody by clearing the levels and also the missions. I made a video about it yesterday, so if you guys want the full breakdown, then go check it out. And also the Extreme Z area for the Dokkan or Extreme Z Awakenings for the uh, Super Saiyan Goku, the Fizz Piccolo, as well as the Troll Han. And I think they're released sequentially, so... I forgot who's first, I think Goku's first, and then Gohan, and then Piccolo, like one week uh, apart from each other, but I could be wrong about the order. But either way, they're not all releasing at the same time, but these three guys are getting Dokkan Awakenings, and becoming better? I wouldn't say they're like awesome, I wouldn't say they're that hype, but definitely an improvement, especially for newer players. And we also have an Elder Kai banner, and the return of a few story events, the uh, Metal Cooler event, all of the Dragon Ball movie for the LR, Goku and Arale events, and also um, limit events are on. So I'm not 100% sure why these are available every single day. Oh, wait, do we need these medals for... Do we need the medals from these events for some units here, or... 
I'm not 100% sure about that. Um, I'm sure there's an explanation for it, but I just can't think of it right now, so I apologize, guys. Moving on, we have the Extreme Z Awakening for the STR Omega Shenron. So as expected, this is what happened on JP. Uh, when Cooler came, STR Omega Shenron also got his Extreme Z Awakening. So that is also coming, guys, on March 11th, so in 10 days from now. And as far as the cooler banner goes, it's coming out literally tonight at reset. So if you're watching this when this video drops, then it should be about probably four, five hours away. About five hours away, all right? And what else is there to see? So yeah, SDR Cooler, Extreme Z Awakening, definitely exciting because um, he's actually really, really freaking good. I would say he is... Probably better than the Fizz one. The Fizz one's really good, but this dude is also a support unit, and um, he also debuffs the enemy's attack by like a lot. So I really like him. I'm excited to get him done. I just was hoping, like I know it was unlikely, but I was hoping they would just like swap it out for the AGL Super Vegito, so I can run like the Vegito Blue and the AGL Super Vegito, both Extremes the Awaken on the same team. That would have been a lot of fun, but it's okay. That's coming eventually. Uh, who did he come with, actually? I think AGL Super Vegito's Extreme Z Awakening came with Android 13, right? So we're still a little ways away. We're still It's still going to take a little while to, to get that, but um, it's fine. It'll be worth the wait. Right now, we're getting Omega Shenron. That's still 30 free stones. He is still a good Extreme Z Awakening. I'll make a video about him as far as the specifics go for the event and the unit um, probably tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. But moving on, we have the return of a few GT events right here. Okay. So all, it looks like all the GT events actually are returning. So if you guys are looking to, um, I guess, farm Vegeta Jr. Or get some of the other units that are available from these events, then uh, go ahead. And I think each of these events, or at least some of them, have like those farmable items that you can exchange in the Baba Shop for like Kai's and stuff like that, right? So uh, yeah, definitely something to work on, which is always a good thing. And we also have the Giru event coming back. The Omega Shenron Dokkan event will be available every single day for obvious reasons. We have the Vegeta Jr. Extreme Z Battle event available every day. And then, ooh, okay, so this is the World Tournament where the Kale and Khalifla are the rewards. So it's two separate units. It's one Kale and one Khalifla. I forgot what types they were, but I remember they were both pretty solid i forgot what they did exactly but i remember they were both pretty solid so if you guys are uh, excited for those then get to grinding once the tournament comes out on march 12th so one day after the omega shenron eza and uh i mean everybody should be getting one copy at least for 23 million points but if you want extra dupes then you gotta get to like i think top 10k or something like that either way uh that's exciting i mean these like for once i'm actually Interest, interested in the rewards for this world tournament so i may actually put in some effort to get at least like 40 million points because the last couple tournaments actually the last one it's really sad but <laughs> i didn't even get 30 million points man i think i got 23 million got the guaranteed unit and then just dipped because I, I, I just didn't care i just i was so done i was so fed up with the world tournament but since we had such a long break from the last one i think it's been at least like two plus months right don't quote me on that but it's been a while so i'm actually excited to grind this one get the kale and khalifla maybe a dupe in each as well that'd be pretty dope and of course the uh, guaranteed ssr banner for the world tournament we also have world tournament packs and some other story events returning as well the bizarre rabbit mob and also the adventure of gratitude and uh, that looks like all the events that are coming so the main highlights here of course are cooler um, and also the Extreme Z area, the Extreme Z Awakening for STR, uh, Omega Shenron, and then finally the World Tournament. And is there anything else to look at here? I don't think so. So as far as special missions go, we're going to be able to get up to 25 Dragon Stones. That's including the daily mission. So uh, for limited missions, it looks like it's only going to be, what, like 10 stones maybe? 1, 2, 3, 4... Only four stones, damn. Okay, so 21 from daily missions, so that's one per day. And then only four missions from the time limited, or four stones from the time limited missions. what I say? Time limited? Man, that's a hard word to say. I don't know why I can't say it right now. Time limited missions. Uh, Bandai went a little cheap here, man. I feel like they could have done better. 
we could have done better with that but it's okay 25 stones whatever and then as far as the login bonus goes it is one stone per day as suspected for uh, until the middle of march so there you go guys that is the uh, all the details for the ultimate showdown str transforming cooler uh, campaign on global at the very least we now have some things to do some things to grind i'm excited for the world tournament i'm excited for the str omega shenron easy a the one after this um the celebration after this actually should be oh actually if you look at the timeline of the login bonus it ends on the 16th right and saiyan day is on march 18th so two days after so this basically sets it up perfectly to end uh, right at the beginning of the Saiyan Day celebration and I don't know what's coming for Saiyan Day but I'm sure it's gonna be really really dope um, I'm potentially uh, I'm gonna tense it tent it but what's the, what's the word I'm trying to say tentatively tentatively man my mind is all over the place don't mind me but uh, basically I'm gonna be you know a little bit cautiously uh, cautiously optimistic and expect a UI Goku or hope for a UI Goku because we haven't gotten one in a very long time but it could be anything it could be a new Vegeta actually it probably isn't a new Vegeta since we got one last year but it could be a new Vegeta it could be a new Bardock it could be um, anything really any pure say it could be a new Broly who knows right but I hope it's a UI Goku since it's been so long since we got one and uh, yeah stay tuned for more details about that but that's all I gotta say for today's video guys that is the cooler celebration thank you so much for watching this video hope you guys are hyped for the cooler and let me know in the comments down below if you guys plan to summon for him yourself because I definitely will be like I said going pretty freaking deep way deeper than I probably should but I just gotta have it man I just gotta have this unit so uh, yeah once again thank you guys for watching thank you for clicking on the video as opposed to doing literally anything else with your time and as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.